Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. So the question or the theme for today's reading is going to be um, what are your crush's feelings for you? So some person that you may have a crush on, um, what do they feel towards you? Do they feel the same? Do they not, are they not aware? Um, so we're going to get an answer um, for you. We'll also do the yes, no coin. So you can ask the same question. You can ask a different question. Um, I'll also pick some charms for you. Um, and we've got four piles today. Um, I just felt drawn towards doing four piles. So we'll have four different choices. The cards that I'm using are um, the Romance Angel Oracle, the Tattoo Tarot, the Zombie Tarot, the Gilded Deck, and the Gypsy Playing Cards. So the first reading is going to be this pink flower. My daughter cut out all of these shapes for me. Um, we've got the second one is the Leaf. The third one is this Raindrop. And the final one is the Sun. So I'm just going to be quiet for a minute, let you focus on which icon you're drawn towards, and then we will do your reading. Okay, so if you chose reading one, the flower, let's see what your crush feels for you. The first card that you got is the message card in the um, gypsy playing cards. The second card that you got is the Nine of Cups. Wonderful card. The next card that you got in the Zombie Tarot is the Justice card. This card number eight. The next card that you got is the Ace of Cups. And the final card that you got is You Deserve Love. You are lovable. So first with this card, um, you know, the angels just want you to know that you deserve love, that you are lovable. Um, no matter what anyone has said to you, no what, matter what anyone has done to you, um, they just want you to know that you are lovable and you deserve love. So perhaps this person, you know, they, they also want you to know that you are worthy of love. So I think that very soon they may be telling you, you know, that they think that you're kind, that, you know, they are in love with you. Um, and, you know, despite the fact that you may have had some harsh relationships, um, just know that it wasn't yourself. It wasn't your fault. So don't blame yourself. That's also the message in, in this deck is remember not to blame yourself if you've had past relationships that have failed just know that you are deserving of love and you know just remember that you're lovable and you're gonna have this true love and you know it, it's it's coming it's coming so don't doubt that um, and then you've got the ace of cups in the tattoo tarot um, so this is very positive card um, it's just saying that, you know, um, there's this new love that's coming in for you. Um, it's going to be a new beginning. Um, there's going to be like an outpouring of feelings and the cup overfloweth. Um, so there's going to be, there's going to be a new relationship with this person. I feel like there's a strong attraction with this person. Um, it's going to be just, there's going to be lots of joy. You're going to feel fulfilled. There's going to be abundance um, and an outpouring of feelings. So I like how, you know, she's shooting this arrow um, right into this cup. So it's just, you know, it's just affirming that, yes, you will have um, this, you know, new relationship with this person, whoever it is. Um, it can be a new beginning. Um, but there's definitely going to be a lot of attraction. There's going to be a lot of joy. There's going to be a lot of love and just feeling fulfilled. And then you've got um, the Justice card in the Zombie Tarot. Um, so card number eight. Um, so Justice in the Zombie Tarot, um, it talks about fairness. It talks about equality. Um, so 
just know that any wrongs are going to be, you know, they're going to be righted. Um, there's going to be harmony restored. So if there was, you know, something that happened in this connection where you felt, you know, unloved or you felt like there was no love, just know that that's going to, the harmony is going to be restored. Maybe it was a past relationship. Just know that, um, you know, karma is going to come in and karma is going to restore balance. So they're, they're going to fight that fight for you. If there's a fight, you know, that needs to be fought, just know that um, karma is going to take care of it and you'll get what you deserve. So it's saying you deserve love. So that is going to get, that's going to be what you're going to get. So karma is going to right any wrongs in your life. And the nine of cups, obviously, you know, um, these are wishes, dreams. Um, so I think, you know, this person feels the same way that you feel. This person feels that that love for you um, the same way that you do. So maybe, you know, to you they're a crush and back, you know, they reciprocate the feeling. So you guys, I feel like you guys are marrying each other. But this person, they're also wishing, they're dreaming um, for you. They want this, you know, relationship. It would be a wonderful gift, you know, to have this relationship for them. So I think sooner or later, you know, karma is going to be restored. And, you know, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get this crush that you want. And um, I think you're wishing and they are also wishing. So karma is going to be restored and you're going to get this love that you really do deserve. And the last card that you have is messages. So I think there's going to be messages coming in, messages of love, messages, um, you know, acknowledging that you are loved because maybe you have a crush on this person, but they haven't shown any emotions towards you. But they obviously, they're dreaming of you. They're wishing for you. They want this new relationship with you. And they want this balance restored between you guys. They want to message you. And they want to make you aware that, you know, you do, you do deserve love. So, beautiful message. I feel like I really can't elaborate. It's just a wonderful reading if you pick this this particular deck the flower so let's do a yes no so if you have an additional question um, go ahead and ask it okay so you got yes so whatever you ask number one the answer is yes so let's get some charms for you Okay, so we got sea glass and we got sea glass. So maybe you guys have gone to the ocean together. You also have this dolphin, which I don't get very much. Um, but the dolphin's about playfulness. It's about joy. It's about humor. So um, maybe you guys took a trip to the sea or the ocean and you guys really had a good time. It was lots of fun. You had a good time that it was playful that could be something that hasn't happened or they want that to happen and you've got this ball with the confetti in it if you can see it it's got confetti all through it this marble so this this marble is my um, celebration marble so I think there's gonna be the celebration when you know they do let you know that they want this new relationship with you I think it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a celebration um, and then you've got this button this is only half of a button so I think th this person you know they really they make you feel whole or I think this is about their feelings so I think they think that you complete them like you keep them you know buttoned up like they need you to feel like they're they're all together 
And then you've got um, you've got this five pesos and you've also got the one peso. So maybe you guys have traveled together or maybe they do want to travel with you. Maybe they want it with the sea glass and the pesos. Maybe they want to take you on a vacation to Mexico. They want to take you someplace warm where you guys can get away and spend time together and celebrate. Um, and you've got this white stone um, white is about, um, it's about peace, it's about purity, it's about healing, it's about divination. Um, also, this is like a garden stone. It's one of those stones that you find in the garden. So um, it could be something to do with gardening, or it could just be those key words to do with the white, um, purity, peace. Um, and you've got this white earring as well. So we've got more white, which is about peace, purity, healing, divination. Also, I see that as uh, the elegant earring. So they think you're very elegant. Um, they definitely love being in your presence. Um, and then you've got the crystal ball earring. So I think that, you know, they do have strong intuition um, about this connection and they really I think they think that um, you know this would be a very very loving connection between you guys and then you've got this peace sign earring so I think that um, they want this peace with you they want this harmony with you with the justice card I think they want everything to be balanced they want harmony they want um, just this commitment um, that's very successful. Um, so what are their feelings for you? A lot of love, definitely a lot of love and, um, just wanting to whisk you away somewhere so they can have you all to themselves, maybe on some tropical vacation. Okay, so if you chose number two, this leaf, let's look at your cards. So let's see, what are your crush's feelings for you? The first card that you got is chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. The next card that you got is the queen of cups. I love this card in the tattoo tarot. It's so beautiful. And in the zombie tarot, you got the hermit card. It's card number nine. In the gilded deck, you got the three of cups. And the final card that you got is the lost card. Okay. All right. Um, so I think there has been some sort of loss here in this connection. It could be a breakup. It could be um, maybe they were betting against, they feel like they were betting against the odds. And, um, you know, there's no possible way that they could win. Um, so I think they, they feel like they've lost you in some way. Um, like it didn't work out and it, it feels like they've totally, they've totally lost you. Um, like they've lost a bet, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe they were fight, they were, they feel like they were, um, competing against someone else in a way and they, they lost you. And that's the only way I can, I can describe it. Um, in the three of cups, it could be a, like a third party. Maybe they feel like they lost you to someone else, like someone else won and they lost, um, it doesn't have to be, that's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, it could also be, you know, celebrations. Um, like they enjoy being with you. They enjoy hanging out with you. They really have a good time when they're with you. So it, for some people, it could be third party, like there's another person that they feel won you over, but not for everybody. It can just be, you know, they love hanging out with you, having a good time, maybe going and having a few drinks. Um, and you've got the Hermit card. And this is about solitude, um, self-reliance. So maybe they feel like you are the type of person who's very good by yourself. You don't need other people around. Um, 
they feel like you you're just fine at home by yourself you know hanging out reading a book or whatever um, but I feel like they really want to come and see you like um, I feel like they're like these zombies they want to like break down this door and they want to come see you um, maybe they miss times when you guys were hanging out when you were celebrating when you were laughing and they want to know what you're up to maybe they don't know what you're up to so they want to, you to open the door to them they want to come in and they want to hang out um, like maybe you guys have done in the past they feel like you you're just doing your own thing and they kind of they miss you they I feel like they do want to hang out with you and then you've got the Queen of Cups so this could be a water sign you could be a water sign they could be a water sign um, but the Queen of Cups she is a very mature woman she's a very honest woman she's a very devoted woman um, she's very faithful um, she's a good mother. She's a good friend. Um, she's very loving. She's a very, um, very happy person, very successful person. Um, and I feel like they think that you're like their dream woman uh, in a way. They see you as like their dream woman. Um, so I think they really are wondering, what are you up to? So I think they have a crush on you back in return and they love spending time with you. And they also feel this chemistry with you, um, this strong magnetic attraction. So whenever um, you're around them, perhaps you feel it too. It's this pull towards them that you really, you can't fight. So um, how does your crush feel for you? I think they think you are like their dream person. Um, they they want to know what you're up to maybe when you're at home maybe they wonder what you do when you're at home they just they'd like to know they you know maybe they want to peek through the windows and see what is she up to what is she doing in there um, but they think of the times that you guys had together um, that it was it was a lot of fun but in some ways I think they may maybe feel like they've lost you to someone else or maybe there's like another option and they feel like they, they're not going to win that. Maybe they feel like there's someone else that's better and you would choose them. But um, obviously if you're here, then you really like them. So let's get your yes, no if you pick this reading. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask, number two, the answer is yes. So let's get some charms for you. I'm going to try to dig deep so I can get some of these little ones down there. So hard. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So we got this owl, which I don't know that I've ever had this one come out. Um, it's kind of hard to see. But the owl is about wisdom. Um, it's about knowing things. Um, it's about being very, very wise. So they may see you as a person who's very wise, who's like all knowing, who, you know, just maybe intuitive. Maybe they see you as um, someone who's also maybe keeps secrets. Like, um, you know, with the hermit card, maybe they think that they don't, they don't quite know everything about you. Maybe they think that you're a little bit secretive. Um, and we get the sea glass again. So we think this person, they could be a water sign. Or maybe you guys have just spent some time near the water, in a boat, or, you know, something like that. Or maybe they would like to. Um, you got this skull. So I think that um, maybe this person... Um, Maybe they feel like you are changing or you have changed or there's something about you that's changing. Um, maybe they can't quite put their finger on it, but I feel like there's something that they feel has changed about you. Maybe your appearance, maybe you've changed the way you look or, or something like that. And we've got this um, black flower. So I think maybe they feel like things have withered or maybe things aren't as strong as they were. Like things have kind of died in a way. And with a lost card, maybe they're kind of losing hope in this situation. 
um, with you. So maybe you might want to reassure them. And the star, so I think they see you as the star. They think you as this beautiful, you know, like this perfect woman that they would love to be with. And then we've got this earthy stone. So they could also be an earth sign. Um, but I think that, you know, um, this is just saying um, you need to be more grounded, maybe get in touch with nature, plants, trees. Um, it can be a suggestion for you. But I think this person, um, they definitely see you as a star. So uh, they think you would be the perfect woman. Um, you've got this white and blue stone. White's about peace, purity, healing, divination, exorcism, um, and that may all come into play here. You've also got blue. That's about protection, focus, calm, forgiveness, truth, um, good fortune, and water. Um, and then you've got this orange stone. It's about creativity, justice, legal matters, joy, ambition, opportunity, celebration. So I really think that they love when they spent time with you. Maybe you guys went out or something like that. Maybe you went out with a group of people and they they really, they love that. They remember that. So that is all I have for you. If you chose the second reading, the leaf, let me know down in the comments if that resonated. Okay, so the third reading, if you chose this little raindrop, let's look at your cards. Um, what are your crush's feelings for you? So you got the desire card. You got the knight of swords. So it could be an air sign. That would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got the eight of wands in the zombie deck. You've got the Knight of Cups in the Tattoo Tarot. And you've got the Healing Family Issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so um, what's your crush's feelings for you? So I feel like um, maybe, maybe they think that you need to heal some of your family issues. Um, it could be within your immediate family, if you have children, maybe with your children, or if not, it could be maybe they feel like um, you need to heal some family issues, maybe with your parents, maybe, you know, your parents want you to um, do certain things the way they've done them in their life, and maybe you're, you're a lot different than your parents, and, you know, you don't want to follow in their footsteps, like you have your own... Um, you have your own things that you would like to do. You don't want to, you know, follow in their footsteps. So it's a matter of, you know, forgiving your parents. Um, you know, just do your thing because you can't, you can't live your life to pre please someone else. You really have to please yourself and not other people. So I think maybe they think that you're working on some issues within your family um, maybe they think that you have some issues with your family. Um, and you also got the Knight of Cups. So uh, this may be one person that you have a crush on. Um, but this person, they're definitely advancing. The Knights are always people that are coming in. They're arriving. Um, in this deck it says they're coming on board. So they want this reconciliation with you. Um, I feel like they're going to have this proposition or this invitation um, and th they may come just visit you um, but I feel like they have a lot of passion for you they have a lot of love for you and they they do want to kiss and make up is what I feel so th whoever you have a crush on I feel like because um, it says right in this card it's a reconciliation um, so I feel like this person they're coming back they're for some reason, they've gone away, but they want to come back to you. Um, they feel like things aren't over, and um, they need to come back. And then you've got this Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is about travel. It's about expansion. It's about being on the move. 
Um, it's saying that uh, there may be a new opportunity coming in. It may be with this Knight of Cups person. Um, and I think that, you know, um, it's it's just good news is coming in. So it's saying brace yourself, you know, because this it's going to be coming in fast. Whatever this is that's coming in, it's going to be coming in very, very fast. So trust your inner zombie is what it says. So trust your inner zombie that whatever's coming in for you is good. So it could be a love offer from this Knight of Cups. Um, this person that, you know, they want to... Um, reconcile with you um so it could be that and we've also got another knight we've got the knight of swords so maybe you've got two people that you have a crush on or this could represent you or the other person um but the knight of swords um it's it's a young person they're very smart they're they're um they're kind of serious um they're very strong person they can be very intense um they're they're very fast moving so you've got you know this fast moving night you've got this saying that there's going to be something coming in for you some fast moving event coming in for you um so whatever's coming in brace yourself because there's going to be some speed uh this air person that's coming in they could be coming in very quickly and uh, it's there may be some term, turmoil that's coming in, um, but this knight's very fearless. So, and there's also an owl in this card. So it talks about wisdom. Um, the owl represents wisdom. Um, so there could be something coming in. Uh, this person could be bringing in news to you. Um, he can be kind of insensitive sometimes. So um be careful of that you know but i feel like uh either way there's news coming in there could be news coming in from two different people actually um and then we've got desire so i think this crush definitely desires you they're longing for you they're dreaming about you um they're maybe they're trying to manifest this with you but um We've got two different nights here, and, uh, you know, you could have someone advancing, coming in quickly, fast moving towards you, and maybe they want to um, heal some issues. Maybe these issues are with you and these people. Um, maybe it's not so much family issues. Maybe it's like, uh, you know, couple issues, crush issues that they want to fix because they feel like they desire you. They're longing for you. So let's do your yes, no, if you pick this reading. Kind of strange, but. Okay, so you got no. So whatever you ask, the answer is no for right now. Let's get some charms for you. Ouch, I just got pin. A pin just poked me. How dare it do that? Got to be careful when I'm digging in there. Okay, so we get the witch. Oh, I love this one. So maybe this person sees you as very witchy. Um, maybe they think that you have some kind of um, secret powers. Um, but witches aren't so bad. They're... They, they're kind of misunderstood. Witches are actually healers. They're natural healers. They used to be called wise women. So maybe they see you as this very wise person. Maybe they see you as this healer. Not so much this scary witch, but they see you as like a good witch. Um, and then you've got this, this one, um, which I... It's kind of sparkly, but it's kind of losing its sparkle. So I think they feel like you've lost your sparkle a little bit. And maybe they want to come in and they want to help you get that sparkle back. Um, and then you've got the flag. So I think um, whoever's coming in for you, they're going to be very brave. They're going to be very courageous um, when they come in. So they're trying to work on that so that they, when they do come in, they're going to be brave. And they're going to have the courage to talk to you. Okay, and whoever it is, they're definitely a soulmate with this little sock thingy. It's about um, holding the pair of socks together. So they definitely feel like you are their soulmate. You, you guys are a pair. 
And then you've got orange, like this one is orange, this one is orange, and this one is orange. So it's about joy, it's about opportunities, it's about celebration, it's about creativity. Um, you've got this ring, we shouldn't forget that. So maybe they want to um, give you some sort of gift, they want to give you a promise ring, or maybe they even want to propose because the Knight of Cups does talk about proposals, so maybe they do. And we've got this earring, this white earring, which is kind of like my wedding type earring. So um, maybe they do want to come in, they want to propose, they want to get married, um, whoever your crush is. And then we've got white again. So white is about purity, uh, peace, healing, divination. So all of those things I feel like tie in with this relationship. So it can either be a water sign or an air sign. But someone's coming in very, very quickly. So it says brace yourself. Brace yourself. Hopefully you like that. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, last but not least, if you chose the sun, let's see what does your crush feel about you. Okay, we get the lovers, so they definitely love you so much. You got the king of pentacles, so it could be an earth sign. That would be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The zombie tarot, they got the two of swords. In the Tattoo Tarot, got the Lover's card. Oh, the most beautiful card. And you got Soulmate in the Romance Angels. Yes, this is your soulmate. So ever, whoever you're thinking about, this crush that you have, this person, definitely they are your soulmate. So uh, obviously they're going to have the same sort of feelings towards you. If you guys are soulmates, there's no way that they can escape this connection because it's it's probably on their mind constantly and then you got the lovers card so there's obviously love attraction there's a lot of compatibility um there's harmony um there's triumph over trials um but this card can also be about choices and you got the two of swords so there could be some some choices that need to be made um, maybe this person, um, maybe they have someone else and they have to make a choice. Uh, in the tattoo tarot, it, it, it talks about, uh, having to choose between the shotgun or the chainsaw and it's saying, uh, they're going to have to make a decision very quickly or they're going to get eaten up. Um, so I think that, uh, this person, um, maybe they've been, they've been hemming and hawing and, and they haven't been able to make a decision. So uh, they're running out of time. And this indecision is going to have to, um, it's going to have to come to an end. Because if they wait too long before they make a decision, then these zombies, they're he's not going to be able to hold them back. So he's been procrastinating um, on this choice. Whoever you chose, they've been procrastinating. But they do love you. They do have this strong attraction towards you. They do want to be with you. Um, so I'm not really sure why they're why they're holding back. Um, because they can't hold back forever is what this says. So I feel like uh, whoever this is, they're they're coming in very soon. And then you've got the King of Pentacles. So um, the King of Pentacles, like I said, an Earth sign. Um, very solid, very grounded, um, quite comfortable person. Um, they could be very good at their business, whatever they do. Um, they're very loyal. They're very reliable. Um, they would be a good provider. Um, so I feel like this person, whoever they are, they, they could be, um, they could be very hardworking, um, but they could also be a little bit stubborn. So maybe this decision that they've been um, waiting on, they've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Like, I think the universe is telling them that they, they can't wait any longer. They, they really need to make this decision. If it's between you and another person, they really have to do that. But I think that with the lover card, I think that they do, like, he's holding his heart here. So I do think they have this strong, strong love for you. 
and um, I feel like they really it's just a matter of choosing and um, you are their soulmate so I'm pretty sure that they will choose you um, to move towards so let's do a yes no for you if you chose the sun pile okay so you got yes so whatever you chose number four um, whatever your question was the answer is yes let's get some charms okay so you got an s so s could be in your name or it could be in their name it could be in their middle name or it just could be something to do with s in this connection and you got this pretty little pink bead here um pink is about love it's about caring it's about friendship it's about maturity it's about affection it's about femininity it's about nurturing and i feel like all of those things apply in this reading because we get the lovers and we got the lover so there's a lot of love here in this connection um and you've got the s uh you also got the crocodile um or the alligator so this person they could have a lot of courage they could be very brave but they also could be um, thick-skinned maybe they have a hard time like showing their emotions um, they feel like they have to be tough all the time and um, maybe they're afraid to um, let their vulnerable side show because the underbelly of you know the alligator is so vulnerable like that's where they can get you know hurt but their their backside is all tough so i think this person they they like to hide their vulnerable side um and you've got this elegant earring again i got this so i feel like uh this person thinks you're very elegant um white is about um peace purity healing divination um and you've got this green bead um and green is about growth luck earth uh, nature, plants, trees, money, success. It can also be about jealousy. So maybe this person, they're jealous. Um, if maybe the choice is yours, maybe it's your choice between this person and another. Um, I never thought of it that way, but it could, it could go that way too. And then you got this bead that's kind of losing its sparkle. So I th feel like they, they think that maybe you're losing your sparkle. So maybe they need to make a decision like soon um, because it's starting, maybe the feelings, they feel like the feelings may be starting to fade. Uh, and you got the witch. So I got this in the last reading. I love this one. Um, the witch is really misunderstood. She's not a scary, you know, pe person. She's a healer. She's a natural healer. Um, she was also referred to as the wise woman. So maybe they think that you're very wise. You're very smart. You're a magical person. Again, with a white... Um, and then we've got this orange stone. Orange is about creativity, justice, legal matters, joy, ambition, opportunity, celebration. And then we get the sea, bla sea glass. So this could be a water sign. Or maybe they just want to take you someplace away. Maybe they don't want you to have other choices. Or um, maybe they just want to take a vacation with you someplace um, to the water. So that's all I have for you. I hope you like this reading. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, so that you will not miss any of my readings, especially my live readings because I really don't have a schedule. So if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you will not miss any. So thank you so much. Best of luck to you with your crush. Um, love and light, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.